Hey guys, hey, how are you guys at Duran? It is you guys at Duran because today uh, I'm going to be cleaning my kitchen and doing dishes. You guys have asked for it, I'ma do it. Um, today is Saturday for us. We still have two more days uh, for um, hanging out this weekend, so I'm super, super awesome. Um, our dishwasher washer does not work, so our dishwasher is named Nirvana. I have left these for three days because if I didn't, I wouldn't have enough to actually do anything for a video. And since you guys said that this motivates you, I thought that I would show you how I just do the dishes. It's super fucking easy. Um, and I'll kind of meander and, and yammer at you a little bit while I'm doing it. I am in my house dressed. This is a house and I don't feel like getting dressed up. So, if you are new to my channel, uh, welcome. I'd love it if you stick around for a while. I know, of course, I do mostly weight loss surgery videos or just weight loss videos or just mental health videos, but every once in a while when you guys want something like this, I don't mind doing it. I also have a cleaning a bathroom video, a video that I'm going to do where I'm putting up clothing and other stuff and like cleaning up the floors and whatnot, but those will be separate videos. I'm not going to do those in succession because I don't want to bore people in general. So I have you set up on kind of a tripod, um, tripod, excuse me, and hopefully you guys won't, um, uh, it won't be loud or anything like that. So you guys are kind of like in an alcove and so it might be a little loud. So I'm just going to start the water. This is going to keep it, um, you know. So I'm using Dawn Platinum. A lot of it. And then the dishes, since the dishwasher doesn't work, I'm actually going to open the dishwasher and use that as my drying rack. So how is everybody else doing? Um, for those of you who have not seen my video from yesterday, I'm very, very excited. I'm down to 234 pounds. Um, for those of you who are brand new to my channel, uh, I started at uh, 523 pounds, give or take a lot. <laughs> I just couldn't get weighed beforehand, so yeah. Uh, I've lost quite a bit of weight, but I'm just counting uh, what it was beforehand, so I've lost 290 pounds, and I feel fantastic about it. I'm very happy in general, and um, I'm excited to do some dishes. I'm only going to do like, like probably about half, because I want to be able to wash these off and use the water to wash them off and put them up. So, again, I, I'm nothing fancy. It's going to be sponge and, and, and work and whatnot, but you guys are more than welcome to join me. Uh, welcome to Nirvana's Kitchen. <laughs> welcome to Nirvana's Kitchen, where uh, she does dishes. Uh, yeah. And then I'll be washing the counters and whatnot, and then I'm going to start my baby's dinner. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop this here, and then we'll just kind of yammer back and forth. Here are all the dishes that I have left. I believe I'm going to start with the cups. So, we're going to just put the cups in there first, um, and the silverware. So, those are the easiest things for me to put in here first. And that way I can just get them out of the way. I don't like dirty dishes. <laughs> So for me to leave these in here, I kind of try to leave um, these things to kind of last because I don't like stabbing myself. And I will because I'm super clumsy. So we went to the BX today, which is the base exchange. And I got a cover uh, because I didn't have one that actually fit me. I'm actually, guys, like I'm actually pretty tall. If you don't know, I'm 5'10". Um, so for me to like get a throw which is what I have it, it doesn't cover my entire body so saying that you know is is <laughs> it's quite annoying uh, here's a sponge yeah it's quite annoying because I want nothing more than to be comfortable excuse you I want nothing more than to be comfy but I can't be comfortable unless I get a bigger um, Unless I get a bigger cover, so I had to, I, I did have like a throw where I just kind of chill, um, 
and you know it, it keeps me warm but then again I can't pull it past like here so the rest of me is cold and I'm stealing you know fucking Evelyn's covers at night and she's all PC <laughs> she's like but I'm cold and I'm like shut up <laughs> I'm not like that at all but I should be so I'm gonna open up the dishwasher so I can use it to dry everything this dishwasher a piece of you know what I know that I could call and have them come fix it but you know what I, I kind of like doing my own dishes I know for a fact it gets super clean I know that you know it, it's gonna be everything's gonna be done in it I just I particularly just like to clean my own dishes um, dishwashers are great if you're really busy or you know you've got kids and stuff and you don't have or you work a full-time job but this is my job my job is to cook and clean and take care of my wife and myself and my health and make adorable YouTube channel videos that upon occasion people want to watch <laughs> so I hope the ones that are joining me today are having a wonderful day so far I don't know how long this video will be it's already at six minutes I'm not even gonna look so um, it could be 30 minutes it could be 40 minutes it could be an hour I don't technically know when I will be done um, I'm just letting you know how long so far um, and then I'll upload it later so I just want to make sure that you guys are prepared for a long video because I can't clean a kitchen in like 10, 10 minutes I'm not I ain't that kind of girl girl um yeah so I will at least do the dishes and then I'll look at the time and if the time is the time is right I hate these damn cups I hate cups that have this little thing you know this little tiny like crevices in the bottom of it so you can't like get a sponge in there Tim to throw this damn thing away but Evelyn likes them like whatever so I hate, I hate normal cups anyway. I only like tumblers and stuff. I don't like normal cups. I don't, I don't even drink out of these things if I don't have to. And I think they're gross because shit gets stuck in them. <sighs> I know, wine, wine, wine. But, so today, like I said, I went to the base exchange and I don't have any pants that really fit. Not, not really, really fit me. So today I went way out of my comfort zone and I bought 12s. Now, <laughs> 12s, okay, so I have a lot of skin. If you're, again, if you're new to my channel, I, I've got a lot, a lot, a lot of extra skin and that's very typical for people who've had weight loss surgery or have lost a lot of weight in general and it, <laughs> It's not always easy to 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 squeeze sausage your skin in it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's much harder for me to sausage all my skin meats um, in pants. So I did find two pairs of pants. Uh, one is a maternity pair of pants. Super cute with embroidery on it. Um, I don't know how I feel about it because it has that stretchy top piece. I thought it would be more of like um, smushy. You know to kind of keep your, your stomach in it does not feel that way on me and um, it, it feels and I guess if you were pregnant which I've never been but let's not get to that because I'll all I'll do is cry um, so I, I've never been pregnant but I, I'm sure that for somebody who who is pregnant those are probably like the best ever so I wouldn't know so I'm gonna keep them um, I'm gonna try to wear them, but like I said, they don't really feel that great on me right now. And then I bought another 12. So those actually fit me, but they fit me, they go all the way around my waist, but I don't like pants that just go right here. I like them, I have a little shelf right here, this tiny little shelf right here. I like my pants to go up over that. That's where I had my paniculectomy. If you don't know what that is, I have videos on my paniculectomy. That is where they took the fat apron. It's called um, a panis off my lower stomach. They took that off. So um, when they did that, it left a, a small shelf, kind of like a muffin top for normal people. Who's normal? I don't know. But a muffin top, and I don't particularly like 
to feel that. Um, itty bitty. I love, I love little spoons and cups and forks. I'm weird. I like to eat off of small stuff. Um, it's just, I like it. So right now, all I'm doing is I'm just washing all of my stuff that's already in here. And that way I can just rinse them off, throw them in the dishwasher and get started on the rest of it. But as I was saying, um, I have a picture of me wearing the 12s. I just won't wear them until I've lost a little bit more weight um, or a little more inches because I am going back to the gym. Yesterday I went to the gym. Um, I did my, my almost goal video from there. Evelyn took a video of me. I might upload. <laughs> I don't know, because I'm slightly, how should I put it? I am very self-conscious of myself right now because my head doesn't show me what it's supposed to show me. My head does not show me what I'd like to see. My head shows me what I've always seen, which is I'm ridiculously fat. And that's not good for me. That, that's a very negative outlook. And I shouldn't do that to myself because that's not, that's not nice. Like, I need to be able to be, if I can be good to other people, if I can love other people, if I can believe in other people, then I need to be able to do that for myself. And that's what I struggle with because I, all day long, my, I feel like my job, okay, because I don't have a, a job job, okay, I don't, I don't have a nine to five job. My job to me is to lift other people up who are struggling like I do to help others see that there is a light, you know, at the end of the tunnel, that, that things can be done that you think are impossible, that, you know, being brave and being courageous doesn't always mean that, you know, you're jumping out of airplanes or you're doing something crazy. It can mean that you just got out of bed today and that's all you could manage. Like, there are days where I don't want to move I don't want to do anything. I will lay in the bed and cry my eyes out. And, you know, I'd like to say that it's not because I'm bipolar or whatever. I, I'm, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that I feel, I personally feel, that my job as a person, as the person I want to be, is that I want to make other people feel like I've never felt, before, like I never felt. Um, excuse me, double excuse me, triple excuse me. Um, I just want to make people feel good because, you know, guys, when when I was going through all of this, when when I was going through all of my surgery stuff and all, all of me being in a wheelchair and having absolutely no hope. I had absolutely no hope that I was going to live, no hope that I was going to find somebody, no hope that, you know, my life was worth anything because that is what I was used to, people just putting me down and making me feel like complete shit. And you know what? It doesn't have to be that way. It really, really does not have to be that way. Your life does not have to be that way. I can't do it for you, obviously. You know, I don't live with you. You probably don't know me. Or if you do, you know, you'll hear me say the exact same thing in real life is that I believe in you. I care about you guys. It, we may never, ever, 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 ever meet in real life. Never. But that doesn't mean that I don't care. That doesn't mean that I don't think about you guys. That doesn't mean that when I turn off the computer, none of you matter. I still think about your stories and I still think about what you've sent me, you know, um, what kind of comments you've left. Like, I, I think about those things all the time and like, how can I help? How, how can I answer this? Um, what video am I going to make next? And when I do, how, how do I address what, what's been talked about and, and, and whatnot? I'll make sure I cleaned this. All right, so I'm going to rinse these and put them in the, I'm going to put them in the dishwasher. So. You might, it might be a minute. Well, I'm, I'm obviously it's going to be a minute. So I just make sure that there's nothing in the bottom of them. There's nothing, it doesn't feel greasy. And then I put them in the dishwasher. So, and then the extra water is just, well, extra water to clean the next shit with, right? Um, but that's what I feel like, that's what I feel like my job is. My job is to help other people like myself 
see that there is there is life after weight. There is life after being obese. There is life after losing weight. And I personally do not think, let me turn that down. I personally do not think that you have to have weight loss surgery to be successful. I do not personally feel that way. I have never felt that way. I have never ever told somebody that, you know what, you can't do this on your own. You, you, you're not gonna be able to lose all your weight. You, you can't do this. I don't tell people that because it's horseshit. You know, if, if you are able to do it, if you have the motivation, if you're able to be um, that person with the determination to do it on your own and your body will allow you to, well, boo boo, fuck yeah, go for it. That, that's how I feel. I'm like, yes, girl. Yes. Uh, can I get an amen? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's me, though. I'm, I'm, I'm very much like that because I want everybody to succeed. I want everybody to feel good. I'm going to let some of this water out real quick. I just want everybody to feel good about themselves because so often we don't feel good about, you know, ourselves at all. And... I get so many messages from people who are just looking for somebody to care. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been there. I've done that. I, I've needed somebody to care and give a shit about me. Like, I post stuff all the time on my Facebook and Instagram. I do. That's hot. Lord Jesus, that's hot. I post stuff on my Facebook and my Instagram uh, constantly. Um, stuff that, you know, I want to hear. That's super hot. Stuff that sometimes I need to hear myself. You know, I'm, I am very rough on myself, as you guys know. Um, I'm incredibly rough on myself. Because I feel sometimes that I don't do enough. And then, you know, I get on and you guys tell me, you know, you're Nir Nirvana, you are doing enough. You, you have done well. You, you do make, you do matter, and you know, that helps me, so I want to do the same thing for you guys. I want you guys to know you matter. I want you guys to know that even if what you're happening to go through right this minute sucks, and it may feel the worst, and it may feel like there's no hope. There is. Guys, t tomorrow you could wake up. And your life can change in an instant, whether that's good or it's bad. I remember that every single solitary day because I have lost my father. I've lost grandparents. I've lost my brother. You know, I've lost relationships. I, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that life changes so dramatically and so quickly. It, it, <laughs> if you don't try, and I mean that, if you don't try, and you just stay in your bubble and, and pray that life is just going to be perfect all the time. Or you expect life to be perfect all the time. You're going to be seriously disappointed. And then for me, you know, I, I do, you know, I was at that point where, you know, I felt like I couldn't do anything on my own. Well, I have proven that. I have proven that wrong, wrong. I, I have done all kinds of shit that I never once thought I could manage. Never. Not in a million billion years. I have, I have never thought that I could manage not even a quarter of what I've accomplished. You know, I gave up on myself um, a long fucking time ago. I waited to die because I missed my brother and my dad and I never thought I'd get out of my wheelchair and I never thought I could lose weight. And I never thought anybody, anybody would ever believe in me. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody ever showed me any, like, real belief in me. So, it was hard for me to even, it was hard for me to even start my channel. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was hard. I was like, who the hell's going to watch somebody like me? Who, who's going to, you know, what, what could I possibly say? What could I give back, like? And then once I realized there was nobody like me, um, that that became a little easier for me because I was like, well, you know what? I do have stuff to give back. I do have things to say. I, I do. Get in there, damn it. I do have. I do have a way of helping people. It might not be with money. It might not be the way people want me to be. You know, I, I can't do everything again. I'm just one damn person. 
but I do my damnedest to try to be a very helpful person, even if it's not the way people want it, um, you know, or people expect me to be. I'm, I'm, I'm just who I am, and I literally just do all I possibly can to stay that way. Now, I've told you guys many a time before, I'm <laughs> far, far from perfect. Um, and it's not just far from perfect, okay? It, it's not just that. Does that not sit right? Hold on. Am I, am I not on it? No, I'm not. Okay. Am I on it? What's happening? What did I do? Good? Good. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? I've told you guys before, I'm, I'm not the best person. I am not what I would call a, uh, anywhere near what, what I would call a saint. Um, I have a lot of issues that, you know, I would like to think, ew, that I can get over. But you know what, guys? It, not everybody can get over their past. Not everybody can just sit up and be like, you know what? I'm, I'm awesome and today's going to be amazing. Well, a, a funny thing. So we went to therapy the other day, okay? So we went to therapy the other day, and I have therapy here with Evelyn. Evelyn is my wife. If you're new to my channel, thank you for showing up. Please subscribe down below and hit the bell. It'll tell you whether or not you, you're going to see my videos sometimes, uh, most of the time, or every time I upload something. So you, you guys have a choice on what you want to watch and when you want to watch it. So, um, you know, you, you can kind of decide... Uh, would you like to see everything that I post or would you only like to see a few things that I post? Um, for me, uh, you know, it, it's up to y'all. Uh, I'm, I'm always going to be here, so it's not really... If you, if you don't come around for a while, it's not like I'm going anywhere. I'm not that kind of YouTuber. Even when I had a shit ton of regain, I still stayed. Even if I'm embarrassed and horrible things have gone into my life, I, I still stay. I, I don't sugarcoat my journey. I don't sugarcoat shit that I've done because there's no point in that. Like, that, that's, that's just lying to myself and telling myself that, you know, all this stuff that I've done, you know, it's okay. It's not okay. It, it's not okay to me. I don't feel okay. I feel bad when I'm not doing what I need to. So, whoo, it's hot. Oh, it's so hot. These are my favorite little little things, guys, because I eat such little portions um, at a time. These are perfect. I got them here in Korea. I actually bought some of these for a giveaway, um, uh, along with a whole bunch of patch MDs, and, like, I tried to do it, and I'm not good with the Instagram. Let me put that out there for you guys. I, I don't really know how to work it that well. I, I don't know how to, I can't, I can't just let other people just, I, I just can't. You know, I, I see people all the time with, you know, oh, this is, I have this gigantic fucking humongous giveaway that has nine million things in it. I'm, I'm not rich, but I had, I had had a whole bunch of stuff that I had saved, and it kind of hurt my feelings when I tried to um, give the giveaway, and it just didn't go right, and then I was just like, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> like, maybe I'm just not one of those people who are meant to do that. So, and that's okay. You know, that's okay. Not everybody has to do, um, you know, giveaways and stuff to be happy. It, it wasn't for more subscribers or anything like that. I just wanted to give back. And it, it just, it hurt my feelings. So I was just like, you know what, never mind. It does, never mind. So I get discouraged slightly easily. <laughs> slightly is, is the wrong word, I should say. I get discouraged very, very easily. And lots of times I will delete uh, videos that I have made. I will delete posts that I've made if I feel that what I said was not what I meant or people are taking it the wrong way. Um, I'm very much like that. So sometimes, if you've seen a post of mine or a video that came up and then it's gone, it's because my <laughs> it's because my brain is not where it needs to be all the time. 
Um, and I, I just, I, I just don't do it anymore. Like, I just, uh, I give up too easily sometimes because I feel like you know, nobody cares. And if nobody cares, why should I? And that's a really crappy way for me to look at things. It really is. I really shouldn't do that because people do. And it's the ones that, you know, make me feel bad about myself that I let get to me the most. And that, excuse me, that is very depressing to me because I, I should know better and I should feel and better about myself. Ow. Ow. It's a heavy plate. Feel better about my, Jesus, what the hell. Um... And not let that kind of stuff bother me, but I don't think I would be me if, you know, that stuff didn't bother me. I, I think that also makes me incredibly humble to other people's struggles. I think that makes me a very um, sweet and kind person to those who, who need it the most because I have been there. I am there. I can't say I've been there. Girl, I am still there. Um... You know, I, I have a decently thick skin, but it's not really. Like, it. I'm able to do things, and I'm able to shun things. But when the, when the camera is off, um, a lot of times when I'm reading stuff and, like, people's stories are super sad, or I'm reading a comment that's hateful, or, you know, I, 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 I struggle with it really bad. And... This water is making me so hot. Ugh. I might have to take a break from this because, man, it's hot. Um, I get hot super easy. But I do, I feel... I don't know what Evelyn has done to this thing. This thing's so nasty, I want to just throw it away. Ugh. trying to get all the dishes excuse me golly the dishes done before I cut this off so you guys can at least have that much um because Evelyn did ask me to make her some food and there's still a lot in this kitchen that needs to be done but I think I'm already sitting at almost 30 damn minutes so it's taking me 30 minutes to do some damn dishes um anyway so sometimes things do get to me and hurt me and sometimes you know I take on other people's problems when I shouldn't and that's why I kind of guard myself uh, a little more now than I ever have because if I don't take care of me nobody else is going to do it for me you know what I'm saying like if I don't put boundaries down nobody's going to put boundaries down for me okay I'm done with those and so now I can just rinse them off and we're good to go. Anyway, anyhow, anywho. What is oh god? Ew. This thing is so gross. You know, I think I'm gonna throw it away. This is one of those grease catchers. And I don't know what I don't know what everyone has done to it, but it's nasty. I'm just gonna throw it away. Bye bye. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I hope if you're sleeping right now, you're enjoying your sleep. I hope that everybody's getting rest. I hope that you know what it, whatever you're gonna get into tomorrow is gonna be amazing for you. Um, I hoped, I hope if, if I said anything in this video that helps you, that helps in any way, I'd love to hear about it. If you like these kind of videos, um, I'd love to hear about it. Um, whoo, Lord, this is hot. It's, it's so hot. It's so very hot. Whew. And I just want you guys to know that you're beautiful and you're kind and you're generous and you need to be better to yourselves. Um, you know, I know a lot of you here who watch this channel struggle and are going through a lot, a lot of shit right now. And I do think about you and I do pray. I pray every damn day. 
I sit and probably pray for a good 10, 15 minutes. I have a whole list of people that I'm, I'm talking to God with. And I'm not saying, for those of you who are not religious, please don't, ugh, please do not come at me like I'm forcing it down your throat. You guys should know me better than that by now. Just because I'm spiritual doesn't mean anybody else has got to be. I don't look down on anybody else um, for that. That's you, boo-boo. That's all you. But what I do believe, um, I think whatever you put out there, you get back. And so me making videos and talking to people and trying to help and, and be encouraging, I, I feel that I get that back. So for me, it's 100% worth it. It is 100% worth it for me to post things and make videos and talk to you guys every day or at least every other day. Um, it makes me feel like a really decent person. Um, because you know what? My daddy was a really good person. My brother was a really, really good person. I didn't say perfect. I said a really good person. My wife is a really, really kind, generous, and sweet person. She will give you the, the shit right off her back. She will get, literally, she will give you the stuff off her back. She will stop in the middle of traffic to get a dog that's running, or a cat that's running across the road. She will stop damn near every time when she sees somebody broken down. We will push people's cars, we have. We will, you know, um, we we give stuff to the homeless. This is not, this is not, this is not bragging. This is just.